you and welcome to CITV. We're here a bit later than normal, but that won't matter when we tell you what programmes are coming your way. We've got the Power Rangers in space. Woo! I'm Captain Pugwash. Also have your pen and paper ready. The phone <laughs> competition is coming up too. Talking of competitions, time keeps that the millennium is on in just a second. And as you know, the stars of the show, Cox and Springs, they're always searching for crystals to try and save the world. And last week they needed your help to find crystal number three. Their last winner was Jordan Goddard from Rotherham. Congratulations to you, Jordan. Yeah, and the question they asked, if you remember, was who invented the television? Well, the answer was John Logie Baird. John Logie Baird, have you got that, guys? John Logie Baird, brilliant. Um, thanks once again. Let's go to work, hey, Cogs? You butcher! He must have a shortcut. It's 1999, and planet Earth is in peril. Deep down in the Earth's core is the Great Clock, powered by 12 magnificent crystals. It generates time for the entire universe. A serious business indeed. So why two twerps like Cogs and Sprinks were given the job is a mystery as big as the universe itself. They're a disaster just waiting to happen. of the Millennium! Fools! Three crystals down, but still nine out there. So put your fingers out! And your socks up! There we go! Oh, idiot! End message. Ouch! All right, Cogs, here comes the gen on John Logie Baird. So pin back your ears. Oh, surely that'll hurt. Oh, shut up, shut up, and don't call me Shirley. No. <laughs> John Logie Baird, Scottish, invented telly. Is that it? Is that all he did, invented a telly? Well, there are loads of channels, I suppose, for football, aren't there? Eating, football, talking. Lots of talking. Yeah, 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 well, less of it, eh? Less of it, cos I found him. Look! This is my greatest, indeed only, invention ever. It's television. Television? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh, <it's brilliant>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Scooter, would you look at all that? I must be dreaming. Oh! Oh! He's still screaming! No, get away! How can you tell? I saw the noisy air coming out of his mouth! Excuse me, sir, would you mind telling me just what on earth you think you're doing? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I have done? Yes, I do, sir. And that is why you're nicked. Oh. You see, you don't, you don't understand. They stole it from me. It's my invention. Ah. Oh. I don't believe it. Logie's been grabbed by the fuzz. And he's been arrested by the police. <laughs> it's not his day, is it, Springs? <laughs> not his day? Not his day! Like, Cogs, as futile as this might seem, uh, humour me anyway, uh, Logie has the crystal, has he not? Hasn't he? I thought he had. He has! And what's more, he's also been arrested. Agreed? Agreed! With the crystal! Agreed again! I like this game. It's like tennis, but with words. <laughs> Without the balls and the bats and the little white shorts. 
and without the tennis. Cox, Cox, what I'm trying to say is, how do you suppose we get the crystal off Logie if he's banged up in a police cell? Uh, uh, don't tell me. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> no, no, I Seven. No, pickle. No, definitely seven. <laughs> Cox! Oh, yes, Briggs! <laughs> Your laces are undone. Oh, my lace. What have we got here, then, Constable? Well, Sarge, I was uh, proceeding along Mortimer Strasse in a nor nor easterly direction when I was rendered cognizant of an incident in the retail precinct. A felon was attempting to felonise a televisual apparatus. Get to the point, Constable. He's a loony, sir. I caught him trying to nick a telly. Trying to nick a television, were we, sir? As I was trying to explain. I wasn't nicking anything. The television is my invention. It's a good one, sir. <laughs> now let's just take down your particulars. I beg your pardon. Name? Oh, uh, Logie Beard. John Logie Beard. Occupation. <sighs> Inventor of the, the television. Yes, you said so, sir. Now uh, let's see what we've got in the case, shall we? One pen, slightly chewed. Tools, assorted. And a big shiny bit of glass. Oh, actually, that's my crystal. I'm sure it holds the key to making the television work. No, 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 that, that's radio, sir. You want to try the cathode ray tube? Lock him up, constable. Well, what if we go back in time a little bit more, when Logie's still there, you know, before we sucked him through time and then just bring him back with us again, eh? What do you think? Cogs? Hmm? I think I want to kiss you. Well, not on the mouth, you know. <laughs> not on the mouth! And if I just press this button here, yeah. you should see another Logie yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Am I not brilliant? Double brilliant! <laughs> Triple brilliant! Oh, the, I oh no! Oh no, what's happening? Um, the button must be jammed! Yeah, I'll loosen it! Hey! Ah! <laughs> Fill it to fools! Oh no! Uh oh The Logies are on the loose! We've got to stop them! Reports are coming in of a string of strange thefts in the area. Nearly 18,000 television sets have been stolen in broad daylight, often from under the very noses of the owners, and the number is still rising. I'm here with the Chief of Police. Chief, this is obviously a very peculiar crime wave. Do you have any idea who's responsible? Indeed, do you have a description of the culprit? Oh, we do, yes. He's about so high, with brown hair. Actually, he looks a little bit like that bloke over there. Hang on. It is that bloke over there. And that bloke over there. And over there. Hey, and over there. <laughs> oh, Springs are getting away. He's pretty quick on his feet for an 111-year-old inventor, ain't he? <laughs> oh, dear. Springs, does it hurt landing on your face like that? Yes, Cogs, it does. Oh. <laughs> Now, come on, how are we going to keep up with him with our little legs? I mean, we wasn't really built for running, was we? Taxi! Driver, follow those logies! Perhaps we should catch a bus instead. Nah, we haven't got a net big enough. Come on, let's walk. <laughs> Yeah, well, this model's got your NICAM stereo sound, your remote control, uh, your teletext, and, of course, it comes in its own attractive cabinet. I can't walk 
can have a step. Oh. Those blooming logies could be anywhere. We'll never find them. They'll be miles away by now. Oh, Sprinks, don't look now. <laughs> Actually, do look now. I think we've found them, yeah. And I don't think they're what you might call miles away. In fact, they're really... Oh, 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 oh. Close. Oh, don't shoot till you see the lights in their eyes. Do you know, I think we'd better do something about them before someone gets hurt. Yes, yes. Good idea. I've got a plan. I think I'll just have a little lie down first. Yeah, the... Good boy, good boy, good boy. Televisions here. Yeah. As many televisions as you can carry. <laughs> and now to get rid of them. Oh no, that's cruel. Can't I keep one as a pet? Oh, cogs, I'm not going to work them. Just destroy them, that's all. Oh, no. That's all right then. If I just change to channel naught, it should be no more logies. <laughs> well, that just about takes care of all that. All logies are counted for and dispatched back in time. Yeah. Oh! Oh, there is just one thing, Sprinks. And what thing might that be, Cogs? That thing is the real Logie. Why, he's still locked up. <gasps> the police station! <laughs> <laughs> we had a chance to cool off now, sir. Lay off the sauce, eh? Take this rubbish with you. Don't forget your crystal. Yeah, but how do we get it off him? I mean, we can't rob him outside the cop shop. Right. Rubbish is exactly what it is. <gasps> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Now let's just uh, zap Logie back to where he belongs. Yep. Now then, Cogs, let's pick up our little piece of rubbish, eh? Well, I think there's more than a little <laughs> bit of rubbish, actually. Hey. Oh, no! Here we go again! <sighs> Follow that smell! <laughs> oh. Oh. Honestly, the things we have to go through in the name of saving the world. <clears throat> Still, at least we got the crystal, eh? Yeah. Oh, and a bag of piccalilli for later. Cogs, yes. that is a nappy. That is... <clears throat> right, Crystal, time for you to go home. Relaxing, leisurely soak in a big hot tub. <laughs> I can't wait. No. Crystal alert! Crystal alert! No. Me and my big mouth. Crystal alert! Crystal alert! Timekeepers here, we need your help to track down another crystal. That is true, we do. He's not lying. Can you tell us which of these is a famous composer? Is it A, Mozart, B, Mozambique, or C, Mozzarella? We don't know, but if you do, come on, give us a call 0900 111 2000. Yes, and you could win yourself some of this. Five runners up will get a timekeeper's jacket, a hat, a t shirt, a bag, and two cuddly little lasses. Plus, one winner will also get a compact computer and their very own crystal, which is so, so precious. So get phoning, or else the world will end. <gasps> Probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, well, here we are again. Just shoot me and the phone. <laughs> Nice and cosy, isn't it? Uh, 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 uh. Correction. It is just you and the phone. I'm going to have a bath. Hey? Oh, don't leave me on my own. Can I come? No, get lost. Anyway, you don't like baths. Well, I could just spectate. No. Here we are. Plenty of bubbles. <laughs> Lovely. It's a nice bath, is it? Oh, just getting in. <laughs> Oh, lovely. 
And now don't wake me up till I'm all wrinkly. Hey, one thing, Sprint. You did take the frog-eating turpins out first, didn't you? What? I'll take that as a no. More from the timekeepers of the Millennium same time next week here on CITV. Stephen, are you all right? Yeah, well, then you're watching Timekeepers of the Millennium. I think I can see into the future. Really? Yeah, I can see that Jerry's going to be number one and all these programmes are coming up next week. Like tomorrow, I can see that we're going to check into Sunny Heights. Also, Neil's going to be here in Art Attack and a brand new show's going to start called My Parents Are Aliens. Yeah, but what about Tuesday? Well, Tuesday afternoon, I see Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Wednesday? Wednesday, I see Jungle Run. I also see Art Attack and I see the return of Sabrina. What about Thursdays? Thursday, the cool kid Hey Arnold's going to be here and the worst witch. I bet you can't guess Fridays. Yeah, I can. Bernard's going to be here and the top ten of everything. You're pretty amazing, Stephen. Yeah. But now I've got a vision of my own. It's that Captain Bugger, she's coming up next. Well, don't just sit there, all of you. Off you go and see who it is. Ah! Whoa, whoa. Yeah.